Looking for an easy dump and go homemade barbecue sauce that tastes even better than Sweet Baby Ray's? I got you. This recipe is so much better than that store-bought stuff because you can say goodbye to preservatives, artificial colorings, and all those artificial ingredients that you don't want. And it's truly an easy dump and go recipe that's simple to make and you can double it, triple it, or even quadruple it and freeze some for later. My name is Kathy from FabulouslyForGold.com and I'm sharing copycat recipes, freezer meals, instant pot, and air fryer recipes to make your life easier. You ready to whip this one together? Let's go. Now this might look like a lot of ingredients, but I promise you it's not. You're gonna start out with ketchup. I like to go organic and low sugar, and then dark brown sugar. Now I rarely have dark brown sugar because I just buy it at Costco, so any kind of brown sugar will work for you. Then molasses, you'll find easily at any store. The zinger in the recipe is pineapple juice. Now, if you don't wanna buy a big old thing of pineapple juice, that's fine. You can just go buy a can of pineapple and use the juice from the can and save the pineapples for something else. Next is liquid smoke. This is a huge bottle that we have from a restaurant outlet store. So you can find them though in Walmart, any grocery store, they just come in smaller jars. Some dry mustard, paprika, you can do smoked paprika if you have it, garlic powder, cayenne pepper. This is the one that I love because it's so optional. You can add a little bit more or a little bit less depending on how your family likes the spice. And then of course, kosher salt. And I love to use coarse ground black pepper. So let's see how easy this is to throw together. This recipe will make two and a half cups of barbecue sauce. Here's a trick. I like to get out my kitchen scale to weigh the wet ingredients. So you'll start with one and one quarter cups of ketchup, which is 340 grams. Then add a cup of dark brown sugar, a quarter cup of molasses, which is 60 grams, a quarter cup of pineapple juice, quarter cup of water, one tablespoon of liquid smoke, two and a half teaspoons of ground mustard, two teaspoons paprika, half teaspoon of garlic powder, a pinch of cayenne pepper, which is about an eighth of a teaspoon. If you want it hotter, add more here. One and one half teaspoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon of black pepper and then just whisk that together. Now I'm using a spoon, but that's okay. Use a whisk if your pan allows for it. Combine that over medium heat and bring it to a boil, then reduce the heat and just let it simmer until the sugar has dissolved, which will be about five to 10 minutes. Don't forget it freezes so nicely as well. And it'll keep for about a month in your fridge. And just like that, you have some amazing barbecue sauce. Now I've got links below to all the recipes that we love to use this barbecue sauce on. You can see the video here of chicken skewers where I use this exact barbecue sauce. I also have a link below to some barbecue chicken street tacos that we love this sauce with. And of course it works wonderfully on pulled pork, baby back ribs, chicken. We love it on barbecue chicken pizza. Make sure you check out the barbecue chicken skewers that have bacon paste. And I think you'll like this one below. Hit subscribe and I will see you guys next time.